Hello students, welcome to Easy Alimu Learning Simplified. I am your teacher, Mr. Stanley Ombogo. So, uh, dear students, before we uh, start this session, uh, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you a little. So, uh, do you remember any of the major characters that we have in the sins of the fathers? And uh, if uh, yes, can you uh, discuss their character uh, portrayals and uh, their, uh, the roles that they play in the story? So uh, that is a question that I leave to you. So uh, dear students, welcome back uh, uh, once again. So uh, in this session, I want us to look at, uh, that is, uh, the character uh, portrayals and, uh, and character traits uh, that we, <clears throat> that we uh, are able to, uh, you know, uh, get from the characters that we have in the story uh, that is the sins of the fathers and remember the writer is Charles Mungoshi from Zimbabwe so uh, here are some uh, 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 I only highlighted the major characters that we have in the story so uh, the uh, the characters that we have are the following so uh, beginning with the first character uh, who is also the protagonist we have uh, that is Rondo so uh, he is the protagonist of the story and the son of Mr. Rwafa. So he is conflicted about his father's actions and values. So uh, we also have Mr. Rwafa. So Mr. Rwafa is the father of Rondo and a former minister uh, who is obsessed with power and the purity of his family's bloodline. So uh, he is willing to go to extreme lengths to protect his reputation uh, and position. So we also have uh, Mr. Mzamani. So Mr. Mzamani, dear students, is Rondo's father-in-law. He is a fatherly figure uh, in, in the story uh, who intervenes uh, to help a woman in need and tries to teach the other characters in the story uh, to see people as individuals rather than their, uh, rather than their enemies. So uh, we also have uh, Selina. So Selina is... Uh, uh, that is Mr. Mzamane's daughter and a wife to uh, Rondo. So, uh, Selena is uh, also aware of, uh, you know, the tension between Rondo and his father. And uh, she is uh, supportive throughout. So, we also have uh, Mrs. Quail. So, she is a neighbor uh, of Rondo and his family. And uh, she is in possession of a rifle when she encounters Mr. Mzamane and Rondo. So uh, in the story, we also have uh, the children uh, mentioned in the, uh, that is, uh, in the party. So uh, apart from that, we also have uh, Rondo's, Rondo's, uh, uh, Rondo's children. So uh, there are several children present at Rondo's, uh, there are uh, several children present at Rondo's uh, party, at Rondo's uh, birthday party, and they are interested in hearing uh, stories about uh, Mr. Ruafa's uh, past. Then we also have the guests. Uh, that is, uh, at the party, there are several guests present, uh, including reporters and other members of the community. Uh, some of them are uncomfortable with Mr. Ruafa's uh, rhetorics, and they and they leave early. Uh huh. Just a minute. Uh, okay, before before we proceed to uh, before we proceed to the next, there is something that I want to uh, show you uh, just briefly uh, before we look at now uh, the character traits of the characters that we have. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll uh, I'll get to uh, to that later on. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll get to it. Uh, I'll conclude. I'll, I'll, I'll conclude with it later on. So on to the character. Uh, that, that is the character traits and portrayals. Let us start by looking at uh, that is Rondo. So uh, Rondo, uh, one more time. Remember, he is uh, the protagonist. So, so some of the uh, uh, character uh, uh, that uh, Rondo uh, portrays is uh, number one. Uh, he is loyal. So uh, Rondo is loyal to friends and family, uh, as demonstrated by his willingness to stand up to his father to protect Selena, that is uh, his wife, and their children. So uh, 
From the story, we also get to learn that uh, Rondo is uh, courageous. So uh, this is seen when uh, uh, he shows bravery in standing up to his father and in his decision to confront him with the letter uh, that he had that he had written. So apart from that, uh, we also told that uh, Rondo is respectful. Rondo is respectful. So Rondo respects his father's authority and position, even when he disagrees with him. So uh, remember, he doesn't question uh, his father's his father's orders, uh, and uh, he does just uh, uh, what uh, uh, I mean uh, as he is told. Uh, the only thing that he couldn't do, as uh, the father said, was uh, that is. Uh, so the only thing that he, he couldn't do, sorry for that, uh, the only thing that uh, I mean uh, he couldn't abide by is uh, leaving, leaving Selena. So remember that uh, 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 Mr. Ruafa is uncomfortable with, that is uh, the marriage, the marriage uh, 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 between, uh, uh, that is Rondo and, and Selena. So apart from that, uh, we also uh, get to learn that uh, Rondo is empathetic. So uh, he is able to understand and relate to the feelings of others as demonstrated by his concern for the woman who was being threatened by the group of men. So uh, we also told that uh, he, is, uh, he is responsible. Rondo, Rondo is responsible. So uh, in the story, Rondo takes uh, his responsibilities uh, seriously. Whether it is taking care of his family or upholding his duties as a hand, uh, that is as a husband and and a father, so he is a responsible man who takes good care of who takes good care of uh, his family. Now, on to the next uh, uh, trait or portrayal that we have uh, in uh, Rondo, we can also say that uh, he is impulsive. So uh, Rondo takes actions without thinking uh, them through, uh, such as stealing mangoes from a neighbor's garden, that is uh, when uh, he, he was young, or bringing a gun to confront uh, his father. That now happens uh, later on during, during vengeance. That happens uh, later on during vengeance. So... Uh, the next uh, character portrayal that is also seen in Rondo is that uh, he is emotionally he is emotionally sensitive. So in the story, uh, we see that Rondo is deeply affected by his mother's uh, pleas to spare him during a physical altercation uh, with a neighbor, and is overwhelmed with sadness when his father uh, uh, later on joins and. <laughs> and also uh you know physically abuses him so uh we are also told that uh rondo is resentful uh, he is resentful of his father so uh rondo feels that his father doesn't show love towards him and resents the way his father has always controlled his life so uh we can also say that uh uh there is also one uh, one uh, negative uh, character trait that maybe you can talk about. Uh, Rondo is uh, disobedient, so uh, he is uh, dis uh, disobedient. Disobedient, sorry, uh, by the fact that he disobeys uh, his father's orders and secrecy surrounding the party and plans to confront him about it. So uh, that is what we have, uh, dear students. That is what we have. Uh, uh, on Rondo, uh, when it comes to uh, his character traits and his character traits and characterization. So on to the next uh, character. Allow me look at uh, Mr. Ruafa. So uh, remember, Mr. Ruafa is a uh, ex-minister and also uh, uh, that is a liberation war uh, war veteran. So uh, he's also a villain in the story. And uh, we are also told that he is ruthless, in, uh, intolerant, uh, and influential, <clears throat> as he is one who cannot co uh, who cannot forgive 
who cannot forgive anybody. So uh, some of uh, the character uh, uh, portrayals that we see in uh, Mr. Ruafa is that uh, he is power hungry. So uh, he is described as being driven by a desire to be in a position of power. And he talks about how he always wants to be at the top and in the front of the crowd. So he's also, uh, he's also author uh, that is authoritarian. Mr. Ruafa has a tendency to be dictatorial, as seen in his behavior at Rondo's birthday party, where he dictates what the uh, children should listen to and also uh, what the children should talk about. So uh, we can also say that he is arrogant. So uh, Mr. Ruffa is described as being arrogant, especially in his belief that people who carry Ruffa's blood should never be uh, subservient to anyone else. Uh, at the party, he tells the guests that he expects them to listen to him, that he expects them to listen uh, to him. So uh, another thing is that uh, he is uh, vengeful. So Mr. Ruffa is shown to hold grudges, to be willing to seek revenge when he feels he has been wronged. So uh, this is also seen in his reaction to his son's uh, marriage. And again, remember that he, is, uh, uh, he plots the death of, that is Mr. Mzomane, and, and his grandchildren, uh, just because uh, they are, uh, the, 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 their tribes or clans had some clashes way back. So remember, Mr. Ruafa is from uh, the Zezeru uh, Karunga clan, while uh, 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 that is uh, Mr. Mzamane is of the uh, uh, Maziviti, Maziviti clan, that is Maziviti uh, Nemele clan. So uh, we also told that uh, Mr. Ruafa is uh, short-tempered. So uh, he is quick to anger and again prone to outbursts as seen in his behavior at the birthday party and when he snapped his walking stick in half. So the next character that uh, maybe you can also uh, talk about, dear students, is, uh, uh, so sorry, before we go to, uh, uh, that is the next character is Mr. Mzamani. Uh, we still have a number of, uh, you know, uh, uh, character traits that uh, we are able to identify uh, or uh, see in uh, Mr. Ruafa. So he's also controlling. That is when he tries to control the people around him, especially his son, uh, and uh, is unwilling to let them make their own decisions. So he is contemptuous uh, as he uh, vilifies his son vehemently, uh, affecting, uh, that is his son, Rondo's uh, self-esteem. Uh, so he is also uh, said to be selfish. Mr. Rofa often uh, puts his own interests and desires above those of others, including his own family. So he is more concerned with uh, preserving his reputation and status than with the happiness of well-being of those of those around him. So another thing that maybe you can also say about uh, Mr. Rafa is that he is uh, vindictive. So he holds grudges and seeks revenge against those who perceives as having wronged him. So uh, this is also seen uh, when he lashes out uh, at Mr. Mzamane for being a traitor and tries to sabotage his, uh, his plans. So he's also close-minded, or we can say narrow-minded. So Mr. Rofa is uh, resistant to new ideas and perspectives and is unwilling to consider the viewpoints of others or others' opinions. So this scene when he refuses to listen to Mr. Mzamane's stories and dismisses his ideas as traitorous. So uh, we are now on to, uh, that is the next character, Mr. Mzamane. So, uh, dear students, we are told that, uh, remember, before we get to uh, the character traits, Mr. Mzamani is uh, uh, Selena's father and Rondo's father-in-law. So, uh, he's a peacemaker, as seen in the story. He also uh, keeps a low profile, although he has the opportunity uh, and ability to show off. So, uh, these are just, uh, uh, or simply shows how he is peaceful and humble. So, uh, Another thing is uh, that according to, uh, that is Rongo, uh, Rondo, Rondo, sorry, his uh, son-in-law, nothing is uh, in uh, Mr. Mzamane's demeanor shows he is a man of opulence as a successful uh, and a successful businessman, that is, and the 
a member of parliament of a constituency in northern Matebe, uh, Ma, Ma, that is uh, Matebele land. So uh, some of uh, the character that uh, Mr. Mzamane portrays is uh, number one, uh, he is compassionate. So he's concerned about the well-being of others and is willing to, to help them. So uh, this demonstrated, uh, that is when uh, he assists, uh, that is uh, the woman uh, with the broken uh, down uh, car. So he assists the woman uh, whose car is broken down and also uh, prevents the mob from lynching her. So uh, he's also open-minded. We are told that he is open to different beliefs and ways of life uh, as evidenced by his story about the farmer in the uh, Manhe's mountains who practiced uh, Vazimu. So uh, he is so liberal that even uh, with his differences with Mr. Rafa, he declares uh, he, uh, that is, he declares it is free to think as uh, he likes. He declares that Mr. Rafa is free to think as, as he likes. So uh, we're also told that he is respectful, so he respects others and their beliefs, even if he does not necessarily share them. And this also uh, demon uh, demonstrated that is uh, in uh, his willingness to listen to the headman of the puzzle people and follow his advice. Uh, his advice. So he's also a uh, good humored. We are told that uh, Mr. Mzamani has a good sense of humor and is able to make light of difficult situations. So this is also uh, shown uh, by his joking about, you know, uh, going duck shooting with the woman's, uh, with the woman's husband. So uh, another thing that you can also say about uh, Mr. Mzamani is that uh, he is persistent. So uh, Mr. Mzamani is determined and does not give up easily uh, as demonstrated by his efforts to engage Rondo in conversation and get him to open up about his feelings. So his friendly and uh, affable nature makes Rondo feel free around him. Then uh, maybe uh, uh, last thing that we can say, uh, uh, that is before wrapping it up is that uh, the man, Mr. Mzamani, is also helpful. So uh, the, uh, the reason why uh, he is said to be helpful is uh, because he gives a hand to the white woman uh, whose car is stuck. So he's also tolerant. Uh, that is uh, by the fact that he rescues, he rescues, sorry, uh, he rescues the white woman from being lynched by the angry, uh, by the angry uh, mob. So he tells them. Today is cancelled. Go home. So again, uh, he tells Rondo to grow up and see people as individuals. So there is also another character that is mentioned in the story that is now uh, Mrs. Quile. So uh, Mrs. Quile is friendly and hospitable. So she is invited by, the, uh, by Mr. Zamane to her farm for a cup of tea uh, and offered him the opportunity to go duck shooting with her, with her husband. Now, uh, that is the white uh, uh, <coughs> Mrs. Quile. So, remember she invited Mr. Mzamani to the farm. That is a, a, as a sign of, you know, kindness or uh, appreciation or, uh, you know, friendship. So, uh, we, we also have, uh, that is uh, uh, Rondo's mother. So, Rondo's mother can be said to be uh, loving and caring. So uh, remember, when, when, we, uh, when we talk about uh, love and care, uh, she, takes, uh, she takes Selena's, uh, Selena's uh, head during the morning night and puts it on her. Uh, that is when she uh, uh, notices that uh, she is uh, dozing off and not in a, con in a comfortable or a, good, or a good position. So uh, we can also talk about Selena. So Selena is loving. Uh, she is also caring, so she takes care of uh, the husband. And uh, we also told that uh, she sticks with the husband until uh, the end. So uh, she, <clears throat> we also told that uh, when uh, Rondo is exhausted, he lets his head rest against her belly, his skull nudging the underside of her. So uh, this also uh, shows how loving. Uh, Selena is to the 
husband that is Rondo. So that marks the end of the lesson. Uh, until next time, students. Bye.